Good morning guys and welcome to today. Today is the day that I didn't actually even brush my hair yet. Today's the day I want to clear all the junk from my life. This junk. I am coming at you from our basement. Because remember, when we first moved into this house in, Jan in January, I was an invalid. I was still recuperating from bone breaking, a fall off of Stella, and Sam packed up our old house. And you guys might not know this, but usually it's me that does that kind of stuff, not him. It was a whole new experience for him. It was a hard thing for him. A lot of things that got thrown out, we rented a dumpster. He threw everything out. And what he didn't throw out is here in this little teeny tiny basement. And I wanna start this fresh new season with a clean, house a clean heart and i want to encourage you guys to get rid of all the junk in your life and i don't just mean stuff i mean everything that brings you down whether it's a bunch of stuff a bunch of junk a bunch of stress just dump that stress stress and if it's people i encourage you to get rid of the people that bring you down and i know a lot of you guys are saying i got parents and they bring me down i got siblings and they bring me down and obviously you can't get rid of them but i have good news for you you can decide you get to choose if they bring you down or not and if somebody in your life is there a constant person somebody at school somebody at work you can choose to let them bring you down if they're always a source of negativity and hard on your heart just choose to to not let it affect you so for all those people in your life that bring you down and hurt your heart just block out that part that you can't understand choose to love the people you love for the things you love about them and let the rest go if they're bringing you down you're just gonna block that part of it just just ignore that part of it and let nature take its course I promise you God has a plan to get rid of the things that, that bring you down but first you gotta learn how to block the part that is hard okay so that's it that is my lecture for today let's get on with the video but first I'm gonna brush my hair all right so yeah, you're gonna oh have, did the puppy erase your your work? Sophie does dictation on this little uh, boogie board, and the puppy erased it. You you press this button and it erases. Yeah, you are bad. But puppy. guys, I got another thing in the mail. I got Dyson clay. So uh, we've been uh, going through a uh, wish period in our life right no. now. Sophie bought this. Um, Daiso clay. Daiso clay. And it's pretty cool. It's kind of crumbly though. Like maybe it needs a little bit of water because it falls apart really no, easily. No, Mom. If you add water, it, 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 it ruins it. Oh, it's super cool. And Sam has been going through an eBay period and he got a bunch of things today. But he ordered cases for his new phone, but he decided not to get that phone. So Gabby ended up with all these cases. But my question to you, Sam, is who needs four cases? I don't know which one I like better. That's why buying at the store is much better because now Gabby has five cases for her phone. She's like, not again. Maybe. Not another puppy. Like I'm <laughs> but Cookie loves puppies, believe it or not. Yeah, Cookie, Cookie's jealous. Normally. She's like, oh no, what's happening? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. For any of you guys who are worried about the girls loving the puppies too much and being really upset when they leave, um, they are used to it. We've rehomed so many dogs over the... Um, years not just puppies but also adult dogs special need dogs so many different kind of dogs they're used to it they are enjoying the opportunity to get to play and love on little babies um, while they can plus our dogs are so tiny that it's like having a puppy forever I absolutely love this case that got that Sam ordered for his phone that he didn't have because it's got this little thing and you pop it up and put your finger in it out of all your new cases Gabby which one do you choose which one do you like the best some of you guys are going to be excited to see that Gabby, too hard to take off. Gabby has been heading back into the red. I have gold and the back is glass. Alright, so a lot of people have been asking what the heck music is Gabby listening to and why is she keeping it secret? So, I'm going to ask the girls to share with me their top three favorite song. Sophie, what are your top three favorite songs? Okay, so my songs? new one favorite song is um, Listening to the Puppies Cry. Yep, that would be, that, that is not and my favorite true song. True Colors and Most Fun Moving. No. Okay, number true two. True Colors. True Colors by Cindy Lauper. Is that who sings it? I she loves that song. She's loved it ever since she heard it. Ellen, I think it's Girls Just Want to Have Fun. And Girls Just Want to Have Fun. So those are her two favorite songs ever. And I love that. Three. 
one's not really a song. But I love that though, because you know what? Own the music that you love. Even if it's an old song or if you don't think it's popular, who cares? Love what you love. All right, so she's not going to tell us her favorite song because she doesn't know which one's her favorite. She's just going to tell three of her top songs. Three songs she's into right now. Okay, Woman Like Me. Woman Like Me by, do you know who it's by? No, okay. I don't put who it's by. Old Town Road and One More Night. Old Town Road and One More Night. <gasps> See, this is annoying. No, no, what app do you yeah. use? Documents. documents. She uses documents to put it's her... It's only available on Apple phones. You can only download it on Apple. And um, this makes it look like I have a red phone. Apple phone. Hey, no case that on. hurts. I kept these big cushions because I thought they'd be great to make a bench down in the barn in the nook, but now I'm just over them. This up I realized it was pouring rain and I know horses are horses and they go outside and they be in the rain all the time and that's normal but given a choice our horses hate the rain they hate the rain they hate the over cold they hate the overheat actually they don't mind the cold as much given a choice our horses always choose to be in a shelter or in out of the rain or in out of the cold and so today we are gonna go and take a sneak peek and see if our shelter is almost done. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to not have to worry about our horses so much in the rain. I'm a worrier and horses and worrying do not go well together. We're almost there. I'm loving this feeling of something new. Just what I needed. Take me there. We can drive away. Oh yeah. Listen to the Disgusting! I'm gonna have to groom her. Gracie versus the puppies. The puppies, the are, puppies shaking. are shaking and Gracie's like, let me see them! Gracie, you be dirty! Oh, goodness. Alright, so uh, we have to go pick up Sam, change of plans. Gabby was gonna shoot a video down here, but uh, Sam took his truck in to get some work done on it and apparently he's gonna leave it overnight now, so I gotta go and pick him up. And, but, but before we go, we're, we're gonna do a preliminary test. You know what preliminary means? What do you think it means? It means like a first test. We're gonna do an early test to tell who Gracie likes the best out of the girls, who she's more likely to go to. It's still really early to be able to tell this, don't cheat. Still really early to be able to do this because she hasn't really settled in. She doesn't love anybody more. I feel like she's kind of leaning towards Gabby, myself, but we're gonna see right now who Gracie prefers, oh, or at least- come to me, I have puppies. Oh, I'll hold the puppies. Or at least what she is thinking about, who she is thinking about preferring. Give my puppies. All right, puppies. You think she's just about, just like Willow will go to anybody? Yeah, if you have treats. All right. Yay. All right. I'm gonna them in the stall. Yeah, you can lock them in a stall. Sam, Mom, Susie! Oh, Get back in! Alright, puppies, stay there. Can you guys see them? They're like, don't leave me here! 
They're going to fly us and eat Satan. Yeah, they're like, okay, well, this is exciting. Oh, no, they want out. So the girls are going to call her name. You guys say that she won't know her name, but I don't know. You just stand in the middle here. Just stand in the middle here. All right, so stand there. And call her name, and let's see what happens. Gracie, look. Gracie. Gracie. Okay, Mom. Oh, well, she's coming. She's coming. Show her the treats. Gracie. 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 Come on, Gracie. 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 All right. I have treats too. All right, go. Stand over there again. We're going to try this one more time, Gracie girl. This is a test, you know. All right, hold on. Don't, don't, not me. Not me, Gracie. Okay, well, not me! <laughs> I can't run backwards. Stand just beside her then. All right, Gracie, Gracie. find your person. I swear she knows that hands right. Yeah, it's not for sure, Sophie. It's just like a, it's just like a, just a fun thing just a fun thing to see if she has any preferences. And right now, I think she's definitely confused, right? And definitely in love with All right, our puppies are freaking out. So yeah, so that nice sound is what we fall asleep to at night. Be careful, do not charge me, it is wet. Here's Stella Bell, got an apple for you. Be careful. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bill. Uh. Tony. I have a whole apple to yourself. Swallow what's in your mouth first. Remember, I gave you an apple because I love you. Mom, here's a bite. Love me better. Yeah. Stella, Willow is like the best little bite eater. I like that our horses know that we bring them treats and sometimes. Take half of the half. Two bites. Doing a kind of things for your horses is the best easiest fastest way to get them to bond with you all right now to go and pick up sam it looks like it's gonna storm i don't even know where i'm driving but because he's so good to us i will always run to his rescue just like he always runs to our rescue you guys might not know that but sam always comes to our rescue always to the left up to the left oh to the left there he is i see him you guys see him he's his friend Hey, no, handsome, no. you want to lift? Yeah, give me a ride home. Okay, but only if you drive. So, basically, there were some recalls on Sam, some parts on Sam's truck, so five recalls. So, they, so he called and they said, yeah, bring in your truck. But we need our truck for tomorrow, because tomorrow we have to take Storm someplace. You guys have not seen the video yet, but Sam, but Storm has to go someplace tomorrow, and we'll share it with you guys tomorrow. So, we were out and then it started raining and then I'm like oh my gosh it's raining our horses don't like to go out in the rain and Fiona's like Laura they need to build a tough skin for winter and I'm like yeah I'm like Sam turn around turn around Sam we need to go home and put the horses in he's like Laura they're fine we come home and they're like fuming they're mad they're standing at the gate storm is trying like that's <laughs> I don't know, people don't believe me. Horses have feelings, like, they don't want to be out there in the rain. And Storm gets mad and frustrated when he feels uncomfortable. I hate that. Anyway, we're putting our horses, we're letting them, we're just setting it up so that they can go in the arena or not, or outside if they choose. That's just what we're doing. But, oddly enough, the girls are all in their arena in this cold, rainy weather. So, I don't know. I, I think people treat horses and livestock in, not nicely, to be honest.
make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.